Good morning, my Hebrews and Shebrews. This is Oldfield Disciple. I'm headed to work. We'll uh, discuss a few things here. I'll get the camera flipped around and have to see what I see and we'll, we'll talk about it. What I want to talk about is um, making converts, um, disciples. And in that, we're going to talk about uh, a few famous people that have. Uh, made that transition and what it looks like so let me get the camera flipped around and um, we'll get cruising with jesus here i hope this message will bless you encourage you and even frustrate you go look this stuff up for yourself okay um so first of all i've been having i've had several questions regarding uh, kanye west and do i think that he is a legitimate um, follower of Jesus Christ. Now, my, my initial reaction is absolutely not. It's Hollywood show. Um, you know, he's all about hype and, and numbers and all that. But you know what? I had to take a step back from that and think, you know what? Let's hold up on that. Let's 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 not even cast judgment at the moment. Let's. Let's give it a year, year and a half. Let's watch this man and let's see what he does. And let's look at his fruits over a period of time, you know, and I just use year for a quick example. Um, but, you know, legitimately, um, not just a few weeks, you know, because anybody can get it right for a few weeks and even look good for a few weeks. At the end of the day, if he is not, um, eventually he will be exposed for, um, for the darkness that he's walking in. If he is, then... Uh, his fruits will, will bear that out, and, you know, there that will be. And so that's my suggestion, is let's just, just look at the man, and, you know, I'm not saying follow him devoutly, but just he's in the headlines all the time. So, you know, um, especially claiming Jesus Christ, because, it, you know, the media, that's just, uh, that's taboo right now, you know. Um, can't follow Jesus Christ. You you love God, but you can't follow Jesus Christ. Uh, so it's going to continue. He's going to continue to be in, in the headlines in the media, um, especially if he does something one way or the other that that exalts the throne of God, or um, he trips, stumbles, and falls, and it makes a mockery of what he's been doing. Um, either way, we're going to see it. So just tank tight, make no assumptions on that, and. Um, allow the Holy Spirit and allow God to, to reveal the light or the darkness there. You know, and that's what we're supposed to do with each and every person, regardless of their stature or status in this, in this culture. You know, uh, we tend to exalt certain people because of who they are or where they come from, you know, rather than what they are or what they're doing. Um, Jesus says, by their fruits, you shall know them. Well, so hard to figure out about that. I, you know, um, I know when I first made my transition, my, my conversion, and, and I declared my faith, um, I had several that, I mean, several that was like, okay, you know, he fell and bumped his head again. He'll get over it you know, eventually. You know, and his first year went by. Some became more and more convinced and others still, yeah, he's, you know, give it time, he'll fall. You know, up until now, almost six years into this now, and, you know, well, yeah, probably a good six years because it was too, early 2013 whenever I laid the alcohol down, so, uh, 2013, sorry. Uh, and so just look at their fruits. Now, yeah, making converts. I was talking to a brother about this last night. Making converts is great. Going out, sharing the gospel, preaching the gospel, preaching the truth, teaching the truth is great. But there's going to be certain individuals that you're going to be required to walk with for a time. You know, that's called discipleship. And I believe I've made videos on it in the past. Um, somewhere in my archives, I've made just. Uh, videos on discipleship, but 
we'll go ahead and we'll rehash it out or we'll discuss it because that's the problem I see with today's modern cultural Christianity is that we're looking for that number. We're looking for those numbers, those magic numbers, you know. Uh, 10,000 got saved at Billy Graham's concert last night. Blah, blah, you know. You, you, you feel me? Well, out of those 10,000, Six probably is actually walking the walk today. Uh, the rest of them operated on emotion. You know, uh, that's what those uh, big shows are, are geared toward is to play on people's emotions. Um, so it looks good in front of the cameras. <coughs> and when anytime you play on someone's emotions and someone's emotional ed, and I've spoken on it before, or if you're emotionally led, you're going to be wrong. You're going to make bad decisions, regardless of the, the, the good intentions. Um, and so when we make these converts, when we're preaching the gospel, there's going to be certain individuals that are going to be kind of stick out to us that God's showing us that we're going to be required to walk with for a time, raise them up. You know, make sure that they've got a good grasp of, of the truth, the understanding of, of, of walking with God and what, you know, the sugar coating, you know, of health, wealth and prosperity is, is, is destructive to the kingdom because, you know, I know early on, you know, several years ago, like 15 years ago, when I first started looking at, at Christianity and the Bible and I would look at certain individuals that were raised up and, you know, the way they would speak was, was eloquent and their lives seemed to be pretty well put together, you know, no issues, you know, so they were up on this pedestal. And when my life wasn't going that same direction, you know, I was having issue after issue after issue and it was like, you know, screw this, I'm out because I can do this my way. You know, I can I can be beat down my way and and not have to submit to none of this. And that's how I actually felt. So for 10 years, I ran and I walked in apostasy of God because I just from what I had been witnessing, there was nothing to this Christianity. It was for certain people. Um, and others, it just wasn't for them, you know, and hopefully I make the kingdom. You know, my attitude was, you know, I'm saved, I'm good. Said their little prayer, I'm good to go anyway, so why am I fighting this? Well, that's what new converts see, you know. I know as a pastor, as a leader and a teacher, that it's important to to show those who follow me my failures as well as my successes, you know, my, my troubles as well as my, my good days. Uh, that way, you, you know, don't set me up here high above so you can't attain it. Um, I'm human just like the rest of you. I've just been put in a position to lead and teach. It's the only difference. And <clears throat> so showing my vulnerable side is, is key to, to having disciples and walking with those disciples. Um, that they can get it and grasp the truth that, no, following Jesus is probably not going to be um, a bed of roses and cotton candy and clowns and and all roses and fun, you know, it's not. Uh, Jesus says you will have trail, trials and tribulation. Not you might, you will. Um, but to listen to some of these wicked, deceiving TPM pastors and even some of these wicked, deceiving pastors here, you know, that follow those pastors in our own local hometowns, to hear some of them speak, you know, come to Jesus and, and Get the girl, get the house, get the great job, bank account, go with it, you're good to go. And that's why they portray our Lord. Um, and it, it really pisses me off because it's not the case. It's not even it's not even in scripture nowhere. You know, everyone that stopped what they were doing and started following Christ, they didn't have it all that great anymore. You know, Paul was in pretty good standing as a Roman Pharisee, um, when he said, when? Um, to everywhere he went, he got 
beat down and whipped, thrown in prison. You know, why would we think it's any different? So anyway, that's my thoughts this morning. Uh, give me first thing as I get going, my first thoughts of the day. Think about that. Um, think about who God has put in your own lives that you may be called to disciple rather than just, you know, that one time here, let me show you how it's done and then leave and then be mad because you see them falling a year from now or six months from now, you know, back into their old ways. When God calls you to walk with him. You know. So something to think about. I hope it blessed you, encouraged you, and I hope it frustrated you. Uh, so feel disciple. I will catch you on the next ride.